Starting a YouTube channel can feel hard and intimidating, but the way it can change your life makes it absolutely worth it. If you're considering starting a YouTube channel, but not sure if you should start it and how to grow it, this video is for you. I'll walk you through the key reasons on why you should start a YouTube channel, even though there are already tons of creators on YouTube, and how to make your videos valuable for both yourself and for your audience. So here's why you should consider starting your YouTube channel. Because I make videos mainly on personal finance, I cannot not mention the monetary benefits of starting a YouTube channel. A YouTube channel can really be a great side hustle or a source of additional income and can also potentially grow into your main source of income. The great benefit about making money on YouTube is that you actually get very diversified sources of income. So how can you make money on YouTube? Well, the first source is really AdSense revenue. So YouTube pays you part of their ads revenue as long as you have more than a thousand subscribers and a certain number of watch hours. It's either 4,000 watch hours in the last year on your long videos or more than 10 million views on your shorts in the past 90 days. This book is Wealth is What You Don't See. Really the money that you get from AdSense revenue varies quite a lot. For small YouTubers it can be $100 to $100 a month but some larger YouTubers actually get paid three or four thousand dollars a month just based on the ads that YouTube runs on their videos. So it's really a great relatively passive source of income because you get paid even for the videos that you made before so let's say a few months or years ago as long as they're still promoted by the youtube algorithm another source of income can be brand partnerships and the good thing is again you don't need to be a multi-million follower youtuber to start getting partnerships even when i had about 500 followers on my youtube channel a couple of brands approached me and suggested potential partnerships so that just goes to show that as long as you have your specific niche and focus niche and focus target audience, you don't need to have millions of followers to start making additional income. Another source of income is affiliate links. So often you can see YouTubers put in their video descriptions different links where you can either get a discount by using their links or they just promote some things on Amazon that you can buy as well that they like. And YouTubers also make money of it or they take a certain percentage of revenue. So that's just another option for you to make some extra income. And also if you're considering really building it into to a whole business and also sell different courses or different products, YouTube also is a great platform for you to do that because you have a very niche specific target audience. If they like you, if they like your content and they trust you, they'll also trust the product offerings you will potentially sell through YouTube as well. But there is a lot more to YouTube than just some extra income. First of all, you can really build your whole personal brand and start building a community around you, especially if you make videos on the topic that you are personally passionate about because this just translates through the screen. When you're really passionate about a certain topic and you're really excited to share what's on your mind, audience will really be able to connect with it and you'll be able to gradually grow this community, but also people will start associating certain things with your personal brand. Let's say if you make videos on personal finance like I do and somebody would want to learn more about the specific topic, let's say on how to start investing your money, they'll realize, oh, this YouTuber probably has a video on that. Let me check it out. Investing may sound complicated for someone relatively new to personal finance, but it is not actually as complicated as it seems. Essentially, it all comes down to that having a strong personal brand really brings so many more opportunities. And even though my YouTube channel is pretty small, I've been making videos on the topic of personal finance actually brought new collaborations for me. For example, potentially starting a personal finance podcast or collaborating with certain brands related to finance or personal finance. So really by making videos on a certain topic that you're passionate about, it's really like planting seeds of different trees and then seeing what's actually gonna grow through this investment of your time and effort. And on top of that, you also get to learn a lot of different skills, which can be especially relevant if you want to start your own business. For example, figuring out your niche and what makes your content different from what's already out there on YouTube. We're also creating content strategy, content planning, and really figuring out how to make the videos or the information that you want to present engaging and interesting for people to watch. I've personally learned and I continue learning a lot about trying to understand and analyze different sources of information and then figure out how to present it in a concise and engaging way. And it's actually a pretty important skill that can translate into so many other different 
projects you can work on. Personally, it's even very relevant for my full-time job, but the skill really of presenting and of public speaking can really help you go a long way. So having this platform where you can actually learn quite a lot about public speaking, about presenting information in a concise and interesting way is really one of the key benefits of YouTube, which can actually be translatable into a lot of other projects and opportunities. And you also learn a lot about how to package your products well, which in this case, it's YouTube videos, because really there is a key metric that drives your YouTube growth, which is a click-through rate, meaning that based on how many people your videos were shown to or recommended to, how many people actually clicked on that video, how many people actually thought that, hmm, this video sounds like it may be interesting to watch. And what makes or drives this click-through rate is really your thumbnail and your video title. So really trying to package your video, your thoughts in is something that is clickable, but not clickbaity. Also a whole other skill, which I think also can be very applicable to other projects, other jobs as well. Really just learn by doing it. No preset formula, it just really a matter of experience and playing around with as many videos as possible. But through this experience, you really learn quite a lot about how to package and present your products well. And also once you start getting different brand deals, you'll be able to also improve your sales and negotiation skills. So really all of the skills you learn by making YouTube videos can be transferable to so many different roles, even if you wanted to work in a corporate job, or start something of your own, on top of just some extra income benefits in your personal brand, you really just continue to grow in terms of your soft skills and hard skills. On top of that, it actually requires pretty much zero risk and upfront costs. Technically, you can also earn all of the skills by actually starting your side hustle or a business, but often it requires some upfront costs. And with YouTube, really, you can just start filming on your phone without any specific equipment. And there's also zero risk. If your videos don't do well, or if you decide that it's something that is not necessarily for you, you're not really losing out on anything. In fact, you're just gaining experience and figuring out what you're interested in at pretty much zero risk and costs. On top of that, also you get to meet with so many like-minded entrepreneurial people. I personally have had the opportunity to connect with other like-minded people who also create content, which can be also on completely different topics, but we still can relate to each other very much because we go through similar challenges of figuring out how to make our content engaging or how to stay consistent. And just the new conversations, the new learning opportunities that you get to be part of because you have this similar thing in common. Also, last but not the least, is YouTube can be a really great creative outlet. Especially if you have a full-time job, chances are you're focused on a specific niche or a specific skill set. And whenever I work on my YouTube channel, I feel like another part of my brain starts to work, which is a bit more creative, or which requires thinking about different topics, necessarily always related to what I do in my full-time job. I think it just sparks some extra creativity and new ideas and just makes you feel more excited to learn more things. And also realizing that you can provide value to someone and help someone. Even if, you know, my videos don't always get thousands of views, sometimes there can be just a few hundred, but knowing that I can help at least even one person already makes me feel much more fulfilled and happy. So in terms of the mindset, I think YouTube has really helped me change my mindset in a lot of ways and specifically the mindset of staying consistent and dedicated even if you're not seeing immediate results. With YouTube especially, really the key factor in you becoming successful is just staying consistent, sticking to it for a long period of time. And a lot of people actually give up on their YouTube channels because they just do not see immediate results. And I think this is so important to so many other areas of your life whether it is career, whether it is saving and investing, whether it is learning a new skill, we often want to see immediate results, but oftentimes to really get to the top, it really is just a matter of consistent micro steps. When you stick to this consistency and those micro steps and you look back and you also see the results from your past work and like uh, videos that you filmed a year ago, still bringing you new audience, new views, new engagement, you also see all of this work is paying off. 
So YouTube really has helped me change this mindset, which can be applicable to so many other different areas of my life and hopefully yours as well. But you may be asking yourself, aren't there already enough creators? Sure, there are already a lot of creators, but it doesn't mean that you cannot start. What's actually interesting is that out of all creators on YouTube, less than 10% have more than 1,000 subscribers and less than 2% have more than 10,000 followers. And this is really because a lot of creators just give up early on because they do not see immediate results. But it's also not just the small creators, but even big creators have been quitting their YouTube channels because either they've said enough of what they wanted to say or they wanted to move on on other projects. So people also leave YouTube as much as people join YouTube. So there is always space for new creators who want to grow in YouTube. And also people follow creators not only because of the specific niche those YouTubers focus on, but also because of their personality. Tons and tons of creators who make videos on starting your business or on finance or on learning languages. And despite this competition, all of them actually win and all of them have millions or hundreds of thousands of followers. That is because if you're interested in a specific topic, you don't necessarily just go to one creator, you can watch different creators and different YouTubers because you like their personality, you like their unique takes on different topics. So if you're thinking that maybe something you wanna talk about is already too crowded and there are too many creators making videos on the similar topic, it doesn't mean that your YouTube channel won't succeed because your unique perspective, your unique personality and your takes is what actually will make your content different from other creators who make videos on similar topics. And this is especially relevant in the age of AI when now it's just so easy to even generate videos. You don't need to record anything yourself. You can just type it in the chat box and it will create a video for you to put out there on YouTube. But again, I think personalities and just being able to connect with your audience in a more personalized way is something that will actually help you grow and be different compared to what's out there on YouTube already. How do you actually start a YouTube channel? Here are my top favorite tips, which I think are crucial for you to start and grow. The first one is finding your niche. What are you passionate about? What kind of videos do you personally like to watch? It's really important to figure out a topic you wanna to make a video on so that people understand your brand and what sort of topics or videos they should come to you for your own expertise. It doesn't mean that you cannot experiment and try new things. That's also very important. And that brings me to another point, which is don't forget to experiment with different formats. For example, it can be just this talking heads like this video or vlogs or interviews or different charts. So formats are also very important. See if you make videos on personal finance, one of the subtopics can be saving or investing. Another subtopic can be a different side hustle or also different tricks and hacks on how to save more on traveling. So don't forget to experiment with that as well. In terms of formats, actually, it's really important also to leverage shorts in 2024 because now they just get way wider reach compared to long videos. If long videos, when you're just starting out, you can get maybe hundreds, thousands of views. Let's say for your first video, if you were to get 100 views on your long video, your short can actually start getting from thousands of views very early on. So it's a great way to reach new people and use them also as your marketing tool for your channel. Also, consistency is very important for the YouTube algorithm. Ideally, you would wanna post long videos weekly and shorts once a week or ideally even more often. I've tried it for quite a bit of time. To be honest, I did feel burned out quite a bit a few months in, especially combining it with a full-time job and also other responsibilities and things I have. So now my goal is making long videos every two weeks, but also putting out shorts more often, at least once or twice a week. But again, it is really important to stay consistent with your YouTube channel. You just have to find a sweet spot that will work both for the algorithm and for you. The last and most important tip is just start you know it's easy to start overthinking which camera should i use which microphone which editing software you know maybe i still need to do a bit more research on my niche but this kind of overthinking just keeps putting your start date later and later date you can just easily start recording with your phone 
if you just sit in front of some window or good lightning conditions, you should be good to start. You really don't need much to get started on YouTube. And then once you experiment, once you see if it's something you want to continue to stick with or not, you can invest in a good camera and a microphone. This is what I did. I started filming my videos on my phone. In a couple of months in, I, when I realized that, okay, actually that's something I want to stick with, that's when I actually got some equipment like a camera, a microphone and so on. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you're considering starting something on the side, not necessarily a YouTube channel, but something that will be bringing you in some additional income, you can also check out this video link here where I talk about different side hustle ideas and how to get started with them. And thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.